Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look and see what happens when we divide the number by zero. Well, we have no problem taking the number zero and divide it by five, that is zero, but take the number five and divide by zero, what do we get? Or even take the number zero and divide by zero. What is that? So let's see what happens when we take a number like the number five and divide it by one, divide it by 0 0.1, 0 0.001, 0 0.000, 0 0.001, and so forth. In other words, we're dividing the number 5 by a smaller and smaller and smaller number. So you can see that eventually, if you make the number really small in the denominator, it eventually will become 0. And so we should be able to see a pattern and be able to figure out from that pattern what we should expect when we take the number 5 and divide it by 0. So first of all, 5 divided by 1, well, that's easy. That is equal to 5. But what if we want to divide 5 by 0 0.1? Well, to make the denominator into a 1, we have, to multi we have to move the decimal place over one spot. So we need to do the same with the number 5, and then we need to put a, a 0 there. So it gives us the number 50. What if we divide 5 by 0 0.001? Let me get my red pen here. Well, that means to make the denominator into a 1, we need to move the decimal place over three times, which means we need to move the decimal place over three times, which means we now made space for three zeros. The result, therefore, would be 5,000. And here, when we take the number 5 and divide by 0 0.000001, to make the denominator into a 1, we need to move over the decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which means we need to do the same to the numerator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which means we left room for six zeros, and that means this is a 5 with six zeros, or 5 million. Notice, the smaller the denominator, the bigger the result we get. And here we can see that to move it over nine spaces, we need to move over nine spaces, which means we need nine zeros. So dividing 5 by 0 0.000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 001, we end up with 5 billion. And then if we make the number even smaller, notice that's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 decimal places. That means we'll get 15 zeros. 5 with 15 zeros, that's 3, that's 6, that's 9, that's 12, that's 15. So now finally, if we make the denominator really, really, really small, eventually we make it equal to zero. So now we get five divided by zero. Well, you know that the number gets bigger and bigger and bigger, so eventually when the number in the denominator becomes zero, the number becomes infinitely big. So five divided by zero is therefore equal to infinity. And since infinity is not a definable number, there's no, nothing you can assign infinity to because nothing in the universe is infinite. Therefore, you can say that it is undefined. So we cannot define the result when we divide by zero, we end up with an undefined result. We end up with infinity. What about zero divided by zero? Does that work the same way? Well, we can do this again, but instead of dividing by, instead of dividing the number five, by a small number, we're going to divide the number zero by a small number. For example, we'll start with one. Zero divided by one, well, that's equal to one. Oh, no, no, that's equal to zero. Because zero divided by any number is always going to be equal to zero. How about zero divided by 0 0.1? Well, that's still equal to zero. How about zero divided by 0 0.001? Well, that's still, divide, that's still equal to zero. It doesn't matter how small we make the denominator, we always will get zero when we divide zero by that very small number. Until, until we make the denominator equal to zero. Then we get zero divided by zero, and now there's no way to determine what that is equal to. And so therefore, they call that an indeterminate form. And likewise, what if we take the number infinity and divide it by zero? Again, a really big number divided by zero, no matter what the number is, is always infinity. But now we take the number that's infinitely big, which is undefined, and we try to divide it by zero. Again, we can determine what that is, and so therefore they call that also 
an indeterminate form. But the bottom line for us, whenever you try to divide by zero, it doesn't matter if it's a number, it doesn't matter if it's zero, it doesn't matter if it's infinity, whenever you divide by zero, you get something that's either not defined or that you cannot determine. And therefore, it's invalid. Call it invalid, can't do anything with it, it's not a proper result. Anytime divide by zero, you get a result that is not good. It's either undefined, it's either an indeterminate form, it's simply not valid. And we simply can state, divide by zero, doesn't work, you don't get any valid result. And that's how we determine that.